Oh gosh. Alright, I have a jetpack. Thank God. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, JB, and I'm back playing some more FTB Beyond. Whee! I love balancing. It's so much fun. <laughs> Guys, I'm back real quick with a little update. Um, Mountain Man D Hill, we're helping out a little bit today, and we've done a little bit of work. Um, however, they're not available right now to do what we need to do. So I thought I'd start it off and show you guys. So we built two solar, uh, two solar tier ones, uh, and we have them feeding in, and everything now, at least on our capacitor banks, is going wireless. We are in the process of going wireless. Um, I probably should kind of show you guys what it looks like. You guys are probably interested what those tier panels look like. They do generate like 650. Holy goodness, how much? Six, I think like 650. 648. That's close. Don't be upset. Yeah, we have a hole in our roof because uh, I got tired of opening and closing doors. That's what they look like though. Look at those babies. Those look sweet. <laughs> So that is our solar panel room, uh, and it kind of just, it does its thing. Uh, wow, boy, this thing is fast. Okay, um, let's go ahead and turn that off. Nope, don't put me back in there, there we go. Okay, <laughs> so that drain in closes door. I don't think I did either, yeah. And then Mountain, he's still using the iron door, of course. So we did get those going in, uh, our solar panels, uh, and they are kicking down, which we've upgraded our capacitor banks now to the uh, to the middle ones, the um, heavens to Betsy, I can't ever remember them. Uh, just a regular, or so it's a capacitor bank, not a basic. All right, that's, yeah, so capacitor bank, it's got the same name. Uh, we still have our, our, uh, our whatchamacallit guy, our, our reactor. But uh, we've been mining quite a bit uh, in the <laughs> in the mining world. So what we were trying to do is get Ender IO stuff. So I do have the Splice of Life constructed. We do have the Soul Binder, which we've already utilized. Um, we have an Enderman Broken Spawner. What I built over here was a little mob room that we are. I've got vector plates and I've got power ran, which <laughs> I should have just made wireless power now, but it's okay. I got it all pre-ran over, so we'll probably just end up using it. Uh, but we're going to put Endermen here, and hopefully they will spawn in and die to the to the spikes. We'll have a vacuum chest to collect our Ender Pearls and uh, our hearts and whatever good stuff we need to, to get. And that's, that's kind of where we're at. We're needing Ender Pearls and we're needing Emeralds. So I think the other thing we're going to do is set up like a little village spawn. <laughs> uh, kind of like a little village spawner setup so we can throw them in Tinkers and generate Emeralds or do trades we'll figure it out we're not sure yet which one but uh we're gonna we're gonna figure it out shortly <laughs> so yeah here's our uh crater crater to the moon is this thing going still if i turn it on is it still yeah it's still mining stuff out holy business holy business batman so we're having to like throw stuff out <laughs> as it comes in uh because it's just <laughs> We, we don't have, that's why we want the Ender Pearls. Uh, we, we need we need this thing right here. It's, it's pretty much the modern Tesseract. It's a dimensional transceiver. That's what we need. Um, but of course we need, uh, we need some good stuff first. Um, oh gosh, all right, I have a jetpack. thank God. Okay, uh, we must be out of storage. I'm assuming we are out of storage, yeah. Yep, we are. Okay. Throw those down. Throw those out. Look at all this stuff, guys. Look at all these ores. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, and it just sucks power, though. That's for sure. It's going to start breaking all those down. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, dirt. Sure, get that out of there. Cobble, get that out of there. Yep, andesite. Uh, granite. Cobble. Look at all those cot. Like, that's so many blocks. I want a quantum storage, but we need emeralds. But, guys, if I can make the transfer receiver. Oh, I need two of them, though, I think. I think I need two of them. Or I need another Enderman head. That might be what we're short on. I can't remember. Oh, son of a gun. 
Yeah, I need two of them though. The Arctatic should be too hard. And the Vibrant. Yeah, I can make those. I gotta see if I have an Intermin head. I guess that kind of really dictates what we do. Um, all right, so let's just try and get this quarry to clear. Look at that massive crater though, guys. It's crazy. Absolutely ridiculous. This is the best way to mine, hands down. Hands down, best way to mine. Um, let's give it to the basalt, give it to the cobble again, give it to that, give it to the marble, give it to the cobble again. <laughs> Just keep it going, baby. Are you still, yep, still full powered. Nice. Those improved capacitor banks are huge. It allows me to pretty much run this at this size quarry without trouble. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. So let's clear those out. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff to take back. <laughs> All right. So let's see if we have an Enderman head. That, that kind of really dictates whether or not I can make a transceiver. And I really need two of them. Uh, without two of them, we're kind of up a crook without a paddle. So, all right. So let's go and throw those back. All right, Enderman. Do I have an Enderhead? No. Oh, feels bad, man. So I kind of got to fight for it. That's yeah. That's what we need is Enderman head. We have no Enderheads, and it's nighttime though. We could, I suppose, look for some Enderman. They're trouble though, let me tell you. <laughs> All right, where are you guys at? Probably should set a quick waypoint back to the portal just in case. Can't tell you guys how many times I've screwed that up. Uh, portal. Boom. Get away from me. Get away from me, guys. <laughs> I, I've killed quite a bit of Enderman, um, and we only gotten one head so far. So that's we really need the spawner first. I think that's why I haven't made the transceiver yet. Because we're needing the spawner, which the spawner we're needing emeralds. Um, I should probably show you that one, what we're looking at building. We need the, um, we need the obelisk so that they don't teleport. And then we need a, a powered spawner. <sighs> Let's see. There we go. What do I hear? Bones. I hear bones. So this is what we're wanting to get um, at Ender.io. I need this inhibitor obelisk, which takes a vibrant crystal. That's, that's the trouble. We only have one emerald at the moment, at the current second. And I need a powered spawner which needs two vibrant crystals, um, a Z-Logic controller, which we can make, uh, and then another head and some electric steel, which we can make everything we need emeralds. Once we have some emeralds, I think we're in shape. I think we'll be able to spawn Endermen, which would be pretty good. I think it'd be pretty good. <laughs> I think we might even get em Ender heads out of it. I could be wrong, but I think it's even possible. So even though I'm doing wireless here, I probably could close that off now. We probably don't even need to have a hole there. We used to have a hole there because we were running our power through it. But now that we have the wireless, we don't need it. So it's really convenient having Wi-Fi power. Gotta love 1.10. Um, got a couple anvils. I don't know what else I could really update for you guys. That's kind of where we're at with our... Uh, with our with our FTB beyond we're hoping to do a little more work on it tonight so we can start our Enderman farm and um, can really quarry some some uh, items <laughs> resources I should say and then the next thing I want to do once we able once we're able to do that is start to look at getting like uh, um, silk touch put on it so that we can actually get the ores as the ores especially diamonds so that I can make a void ore miner, um, which would allow us to pull stuff from the void essentially, um, which would be really, really awesome as well. Be free resources then at the expense of power. That's, it's always about the power. So I, I kind of want to make um, the bigger, the bigger solar system stuff right here. If you look, if we go over here, the next one generates 3,600 RF per tick. 
The next one is 14,000 RF. And then the third or the fourth tier is 46,000 RF per tick, which is really impressive. Uh, but even cheaper is the other solar single block ones. But those ones were a little fun to make. They were quick. And uh, that's what I decided to make. <laughs> if we go back, though, we can look for more green energy. Uh, we can start down here where we get to 32. But to get to 640, uh, I mean, I'd have to go to this one right here, which becomes quite expensive. Block of diamond, which I don't have. So it, it gets expensive. But then these ones, of course, they can, they can really generate a lot of RF per tick. Let's just put it at that. So we'll see what we get to. Um, I do apologize. I know this one is a little short, guys, but it's a quick update to let you know what we got going on. So, as always, let's probably look at doing a quick live stream, you know? Um, you guys will be watching this, uh, of course, after we have uh, live streamed. But, uh, as always, guys, be sure to check it out. Have your notifications on so you know when we go live. And I will see you guys in the next one. As always, take care. Goodbye. Thank you.